Hello everyone and welcome back to another Montessori moment with me, Miss Jolene. Today we're going to be talking about attention. Our children want and very much need our attention. And there are two things I want to cover today about attention. Number one, when we give attention is just as important as how we give it. Your child may not interrupt you when you are on the phone to find a marker for them, nor can they butt into a conversation with you and your spouse to show you the picture they drew. They may wait patiently for you to give attention. This is how it's done in the classroom, which is not only necessary for the function of the classroom, but it also works on good manners. Your child is not the center of the universe, though they may be the center of your universe, if you treat them as such, it will be a hard wake up call everywhere else they go in life. The best thing we can do for our children is to gently remind them that you are speaking and will be with them in a moment. Ignore further interruptions. This selective ignoring teaches your child that you will not be manipulated into breaking the rule of interrupting. Once you have finished what you're doing, give your full attention to your child. You can come up with a hand signal with your child to remind them not to interrupt. This helps your child remember this rule while not breaking your conversation. It is very important to give attention as soon as you can after you finish what you're doing. Your child needs your attention. And if you do not respond, your child may escalate their behavior in order to force attention, even when it's negative attention. As soon as that happens, your child knows how to get your attention by acting bad, because negative attention is better than no attention at all. This can become a cycle that is really hard to break. Number two, how to give attention. Giving our child undivided attention when they have something to say builds a bond of acceptance and encouragement. Remember, we talked about encouragement in our last episode. What is undivided attention? What constitutes quality attention? Undivided attention means put the phone away, put the spatula down, turn away from work, and look your child in the face. Notice how your child seems to be feeling. Are they sad, hurt, angry, proud? You might even take their little hands in yours. Touch is always good and ask, what can I help you with? Listen fully to your child. This does not mean you have to respond to meet their wants or needs right away, but it shows your child you are truly listening to them. I hear that you dropped your blue crayon behind the sofa. I'm cooking dinner right now and cannot help you at this time. I can either get it right after we eat or you can try and use the broom to retrieve it. You have listened, you have offered help, though it's a delayed help, and you have offered a solution. Either way, your child feels heard. Your child knows when you aren't really listening. This is when kids can get sneaky. It also sets up a poor example as your child will treat others the way you treat them. Others will view your child as rude if they're looking at their phone when someone's speaking to them. The balance is not easy between when to give your full attention versus when to ignore. Assign value to your activities like when I'm cooking dinner, it's a $10 value. I can give up that $10 to give my child attention for a few minutes. If I'm on the phone, it's a $100 value. Even if the call isn't important, I look at it as a lesson of respect being that high value. I'm not giving up that 100. My message all along is, as long as no one is seriously injured, you may not interrupt me. 
And this is what I have used in the classroom and in my own home. I hope this helps you in one small way with how you interact with your child and continues to build that bond for a lifetime. See you next time.